Unfortunately, radiators can leak and you're going to need to get an expert in to fix the fault. However, you can contain the potential damage while you're waiting for the safety engineer to come out. To contain the damage, you need to locate the leaking radiator and isolator. So first of all, find out where the leak is coming from by holding up tissue against the pipes. At the point where the tissue gets damp, you know you found the culprit. Put a shallow bowl directly underneath this spot. Next, you need to shut the two valves which connect the radiator to the wider heating system. With this particular radiator, I don't need any tools, but with some older radiators, you'll need to use a screwdriver to remove the white cap and access the valves. To isolate radiators, the valves must be turned clockwise. Next, you need to bleed or vent the radiators of air, which in turn will force the water out of the radiator. At the top of the radiator, at one end, there'll be a valve like this. You can attach the radiator key to the square bit in the centre or put the end of the screwdriver into the groove. Slowly turn the radiator key anti-clockwise and you'll hear air escape with a hissing sound. Once the trapped air is released, water will start to come out and leak into the bowl. Drain it all. While you wait for the engineer to come, it's worth switching off the boiler and drain the pressure as a further precaution. This will mean that you won't have any eating in the meantime, but it will ensure no further leaks.